Well, one, one summer I came home from California and found my friend Quint, who he was interested in uh, shooting the rabbits of the Bear River. And uh, there was a few problems was uh, any boat that would make it, uh, nobody would loan him and, and any boat that wouldn't make it wasn't was useless. So anyhow, we were conjuring up and trying to figure out some way to um, shoot the Bear River rabbits, rapids. And uh, so anyhow, during the interim, we got a, a gig helping a guy crop dust. We were the people that ran the flags. We'd go out there with the flag and then he'd line up with us. And then as soon as he was lined up with it, we'd march over 50 or 100 feet and then he'd, he'd do that. They do that all the time. Any, anyhow, so, so we got back to the airport and uh, there were all of these uh, drums of 2,4-D, which was a weed-like uh, roundup, is, is what they used back in those days. And they were laying all over. So anyhow, along with this uh, crop dusting job, we got free flying lessons because we'd go out and examine the fields that we were going to do the next day and all that kind of stuff. And it was a great lot of fun. But Quint had a good mind and he says, you know what? He says, look at all these barrels. And I says, yeah, so what? He says, let's make a boat. <laughs> So anyhow, I says, well, how you figure on doing that? He says, well, he says, we'll weld them together. And he says, we'll come up with a boat. I says, well, how in the hell are we going to do that? He says, well, he says, I'll get a hold of Dav and Dav will come over and we'll just load a bunch up and see what happens. So anyhow, I'm going to show got, a picture here. See if I can. So there we got um, the barrel boat. We got Dav to come over. And interestingly, Dav is, uh, is uh, also known as dynamite from his demolition experiences in Korea. He got drafted into the army and they sent him over there and taught him how to blow things up, but that has nothing to do with it. He also owned several thousand acres of, of dry land and he was one of the gang. And so he came over with his old red pickup and, and we looked all the barrels. How many were there? These barrels? Yeah. How many were there? Oh, I don't know. There may be 50 or a hundred of them laying around. He just, as soon as they got empty, he'd just roll them off to the side there alongside of the hangar. And there were just plenty of them were there and no, no charge. And so we loaded up probably a dozen of them in his pickup truck and he went down to his farm repair place <clears throat> and disappeared into a cloud of smoke and arc welding blaze. And, 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 and in a couple of hours, in a couple of hours after the dust and not the dust, but the smoke and everything cleared, here we had this boat and it was three of these 30 gallon drums welded end to end. And then there was one 30 gallon drum on each end welded in there. And uh, that was a tubular boat. And then of course there was no place to sit. So we found a couple of pieces of angle iron from somebody's old bed frame and welded those on the inside, hustled the boat and the into town and found a whole bunch of slats, wooden one bys and put them in for a floor we were running out of days, so we hastened down to the Bear River where there was a bridge. It was the closest one. And we threw the, the boat <laughs> into the river and jumped in and we took off. Well, Dav didn't go with us because he had chores. He had to get home. So anyhow, here we are in the river with the, with the boat and we don't have any way to steer it. We don't have a paddle. We don't have anything, but we're in the river and it's floating and it's doing fine. But anyhow, we, Dav said that he would, uh, he would go take care of his chores and he'd have somebody come down and pick us up down at the next bridge. So there we are just lazily floating along the river and, and there's cows coming over and examining us. And, and it was, wasn't too exciting because this wasn't where the rapids were. So there wasn't anything very rapid about the river right there. But anyhow, we ended up down at the next bridge and, and we offloaded and pushed the boat into some bushes to get it out of sight. And then we got in the car with, with uh, Quint's brother Ralph and he hauled us back into town and that was the beginning of the Merrill Barrel Boat.